Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel Admin Panel Development Beginner Tutorial. This is our part number 39. Inside this video session guys, we will see the concept of assigning class and section to students. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel, please then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Laravel Admin Panel Development Beginner Tutorial. So basically guys, what we have completed so far, if you back to administrator panel, now this is our login form which we have completed in our previous video session. So if I try to log in, suppose this is the email ID of admin and the password that we have supplied something online123 and as we can see that we have successfully redirected on the dashboard. Now inside this dashboard, what we have completed, we have completed about the classes, adding classes, about adding sections, adding faculties as well as adding students. But now, inside all these sections, we don't have any section about assigning classes and sections to students. It means that we have no option where actually by going through that, we know which student is in which class because basically if you go to list students, inside this students, as we can see that all the details we have related with each student. But remember, inside this student list, no class, no section is mentioned. So how can we assign a class from this list like list sections also about list classes. So how can we assign suppose a student is relating with our section 1c. Suppose the student is from one class and section should be c. So how can we relate that. So basically to get all these things we have to add two different fields inside this add student form. We are getting all the informations about a student from this form like registration number, gender, name, email and so on up to his student age. So we are going to add two drop down here inside this form something called choose class and choose section. So that after saving all these things we have to save all the data inside into the same table what we have made for the students something called TBL students. So we are going to add two more columns inside this table to store about the class and the section ID and also apart from this we have an also option to store all the informations like student ID, class ID, section ID into a different table and something we have we have made that table something called TBL student classes. Inside this table we can store all the informations about a student section and class so by the help of these actually we came to know that which student is relating with which class and which section id so inside this video i am going to add two more columns inside the same table that we have called tbl students and after adding these two fields inside this form we will save those data inside those columns so how can we add that so back to terminal Inside this terminal, we are going to update or modify the table structure of TBL students. So what will be the syntax to create that? So PHP, artisan, if I type suppose help and let's say that make migration and pressing enter, it will give a list of commands by the help of that command actually we will get the concept and as we can see that this is the table and the table to be migrate. It means that if we want to change or update or modify the table structure we need to use called table flag but instead of that if we use about the create it means that we are going to create our table. So just clear out all these things and let's say that php artisan make let's say migration table as a flag before flag we have to pass the file name so let's say update we are going to make the update tbl students okay and now table as a flag and here we have to pass the table name table we have so it should be table and table we have something called tbl students this is the table that we had developed if i press enter and we have created our migration successfully now it is updating and successfully we have done that so if we back to editor now if we go inside database folder here is the database folder and now inside this folder if you go inside the migrations folder inside this migrations here is the file that we have completed like update tbl students if i press here now what columns basically we want to add inside our database table all these columns we have to specify inside this structure 
and before making our columns one more thing guys that you need to keep in your mind that if you create your migration file by using create as a flag create as a flag that in that condition you will get something called create here schema scope resolution operator and create method but instead of that we have used as a table as a flag and this is here so let's say that we are going to add our two columns so table inside this table we are going to add our integer value and that integer value something contains our class id so let's say class id in the second column also we need to add an integer value that will contain something called section id and also if we slice these columns with null value it should be means we have to pass a null method also so i'm going to write it here and save this file back to our terminal clear out all these things and let's say that php artisan migrate if i press enter and we have migrated our TVL instance table. If you back to browser, browse this structure and inside this structure TVL instance. As we can see that we have added two more columns inside this table, something called class ID and section ID, in which we are going to store the two values what we will make inside this form. Now we have done about the database change part. Next move to our call adding two fields inside this add student form. So if I copy this route back here, go inside web.php. Let me search about this route and it is using called student controller. Inside student controller, we have a method called add students. So if I collapse this database part, go here and inside this student controller, we have a method called add student and it is using called add student. So we have to open the view file, something called as the student. So this is something here. Now we have to go inside controller. Firstly, we have to import the values of classes and sections inside this controller. So back to here and let's say that class section controller. Basically it is using called, this is the model. By the help of that, actually we will take all the sections. So I'm going here, I'm going to pasting it here and also the method actually we are using to import all the all the sections so i'm going to close this file next we have to actually we have used about the class sections this is about tbl student classes if we back to our database table back here and as we have the table called tbl student classes which basically stores and i think that we have used the wrong database table so this is not here and I think that it is using basically if you open class section controller this will be the model I think so if I copy and pasting it here so if I press student class and this is TBL class section so what basically contains all the sections related information so we have imported successfully about the student class it means the student sections next we have to import about the classes so if we back here basically to our controller something school class controller and inside this if I press school class it is using called TBL classes so we have to import this model also so back here if I copy this package close all these files first and this is about section and this is our class so all we have to use these two models while listing our drop downs over add student page so let's say that here we need to import all sections so this is all sections all sections will be stored inside this student class so student class and let's say that student class where basically all the sections should be active so status equal to one and we have to use the gate method this is all about our sections if i again press student class this is using the tbl class sections table now next we have to use the school class this is for all the classes that we have created for our related students so it should also be status 1 so if I save all these files next we have to pass these two variables inside this array so let's say sections this is our part next we have to actually pass our classes so if I copy this variable go here and let's say that 
classes and all we have to pass this variable so successfully we have passed these two things next we have to go inside add student HTML page so back here go at the bottom where actually we want to add our drop down values so if I copy this genders and go at the bottom and before the status field if I add the genders drop down list and if you suppose change this gender drop down list to our let's say that class so it basically class and it is under let's say dt class so if I copy this key name back here let me change the ID and the name parameter and also it should be listed that this is not gender this is about class and this is the variable that we have passed right here so if I copy back to our view file and let's say that this is about classes and also if I copy this variable pasting it here and it should be something class and if I copy this class has an ID and the class has a name so what I basically it is so if I scroll here and let's see the TPL classes TPL classes table has a column called name so back here and let's see that this is here and this should be the name so if I save this file back to our browser reload this panel and once you reload I think that we can see a drop down values and that drop down values is right here which basically contains all the class sections what we have made inside our TBL classes table back here again we have to make a drop down for our sections so now we are going to add a sections drop down here so copy this pasting it here go at the top and let's say that section this should be something called DD section so copy that so copy that back here I am pasting it all these with the name and the ID parameter and finally we have to replace with these classes so what we have the name we have the key something called sections so I'm going to pasting it here all we have to change here and finally we have to make it as a single section so copy that copy here and section table has I think that if we go here TBL class sections and inside this we have called section as the name which basically contains the name of the section so let me pass it here this is not class section and it has a key something called section so if I save this file back to our browser reload this page and we have now two drop downs inside this form called class and section so while selecting any of the value like section A like something 8 and something we have C it means that 8C this student has been created or is going to create inside this class and inside this section now we have to add these two fields while saving our student so back to top basically we are using to save our students inside this here so if I go to the form actions parameter and inside this action we are using the route something called save student back here let me search this and it is using the method called save student go at the controller find that and inside this list inside this list we have to add two more keys for our incident information something back to our table structure inside this structure we have go to structure section if I scroll and now inside this we can find about the class ID and the section ID so copy that and we have to pass it here called class ID and also we have called section ID so back to browser this is all about section ID so copy the column name back to our editor and let's say that section ID it is basically coming inside of form element something we have passed dt underscore something called section this is all about section and also we have the class information inside dd underscore class so if I go at the top and this is the name so copy that and something we have to pass it here so go at the administrator panel reload this page 
I think that all we have done now. We have successfully inserted our drop down list. Also, we have saved that. Also, we have modified our table structure. Now, I am going to create a student. Let's say that registration something SD and let's say 34567 and it should mail something the name let's say that Saurabh email should be something let's say abc def at gmail.com roll number something 56 if I make some zoom phone number something we have this is the dummy phone number address something let's say test address back here we we are not going to choose any profile photo that for that student father's name dummy value dummy value a student age something let's say that 21 years and inside this section id let's choose a class something called 8 and section should be something called e if i press submit a student has been created successfully if i back to our table browse this structure descending order and this is the student what we have created scroll here and as we can see that that student is relating with our class id something 11 and section id relating with our 5 so while listing all the students inside this student list we have to read those ids also and according to those ids we have to take the values from our table something called tbl classes and TBL sections. So these are the two tables called TBL classes and TBL sections. By the help of these two tables, we can get the data by the help of that ID we have inserted inside TBL students table. So this was the section guys assigning of class and section ID to any student. So inside this video session guys, if you have any doubt, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.